Welcome back to Golden Goose in my Road to Glory series that follows myself, Zach Letter, as quarterback of the Florida Gators. Today, Florida is taking on Ms. U. They're 2-5 and 0-3 and and in conference play. They're a decent team on paper, but coming into the swamp, I don't think they have much of a chance. But Vanderbilt did surprise us last game in a nail-biter 28-21 that literally came down to the last 30 seconds of the game, so... Anything could really happen, but Kirk is on our side. Conference-wise, it's still very close. 7-0, both with us and South Carolina. Now, we do play them later in the season. And as you can see, uh, Missouri, who we play today, yeah, they haven't been faring too well this season, but they're not a horrible team. I, I still think it's going to be an interesting game. But it is in the swamp where we we've been pretty successful. So, uh, good luck to you. Missouri. Passing wise, we're number one in the nation with 2,500 yards, and we're trying to keep that up because we're also number one for the Heisman. And there's two other scrambling quarterbacks in the top five of the Heisman watch. So if we want to go number one in the draft or be one of the top pick quarterbacks, we're going to have to perform and get that Heisman. This season, we've been great 139 completions, 194 attempts, 2,500 yards, 27 touchdowns, and only two interceptions. That's, that's a great statistic. We have been sacked 15 times, though. On the ground, we already have 1,100 yards, still five games to go in the regular season, 13 touchdowns as well. 97 overall versus 88 overall. Their offense is okay, but our defense is quite a bit better, and our offense, uh, you know, trumps their defense by quite a bit too. So, I mean, this should lean in the favor of us, the Gators, but, I mean, anything can happen. It's college football. We're getting the ball to start in this contest here in the Swamp. And it looks like Green is back in action this week after suffering a mild concussion against Vanderbilt. Green takes the ball to the right side. Boy, have we missed him. A decent two-yard gain. Second down and eight. Trying to get them to jump off sides, but they're pretty solid. Going to loft this one to Cunningham in stride. The Swamp just erupted after that completion. It's very loud in here. I mean, if you're Missouri, you got to be a little nervous. You're playing against a, the top team in the country against one of the best quarterbacks to ever play college football. Two, two, my own horn. And boom, a nice scramble for a first down. Goal in this game, uh, gets sacked a lot less than last week against Vanderbilt where we suffered four sacks. We also threw an interception. So, you know, try not to throw an interception in this one and try not to get sacked. There's Cunningham again. You know, it's into Vanderbilt territory. Did I just say Vanderbilt? I meant Missouri. Jesus, still caught up on that Vanderbilt game. It was such a good game. First down and 10, looking for an open man. Oh my God, gonna just get rid of this one to Green and he catches it. We shed that sack. Second down and six, taking the snap, trying to stay in the pocket here. Gonna try to deliver a strike and it is deflected. We didn't have any passing touchdowns in that Vanderbilt game. We did have two rushing ones. We wanna change that today. There's RJ Parker, he breaks one. Wow, a 22 yard touchdown reception. And that's gonna give us the lead, seven to nothing. Our defense gets a turnover here. We're at the 50 yard line. So we only have to go 50 yards if we wanna get another six on the scoreboard. Trying to get them to bite and jump off sides. We're rolling out immediately. Gonna deliver a strike to RJ Parker. He holds on. Time for some read option. We've been liking this a lot lately. And oh, he bit on it. We're cutting up the center. And we're trying to get to the 20, and we do inside the red zone. First down and 10, about halfway through the first quarter right now, taking the snap. Just looking to deliver this one to Green, our halfback. He's gonna find four. And read option time. We try to break one, and we do. We're still on our feet inside the 10. Heisman, 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 Heisman. No, no one else? Okay, you make me chant alone. We're gonna toss this one to McDaniel, he drops it! That would have been a guaranteed touchdown. He had it in his hand for like a good second. Couldn't commit, he still took the hit. Ah, oh, that's deflected, I don't know what I'm doing now. Six for nine, 79 yards and a touchdown today. We're gonna draw him off sides, got a man in motion, that's RJ Parker. Uh, don't like this. Forced to roll out here. And we're gonna get in, barely, by the nose of the ball. Eight yard touchdown run. This is more what I wanted in the Vanderbilt game. 14 and nothing here. A little bit of play action. Gonna just dump this one off to Baker who holds on down to the 40. Second down, six yards to go. Rolling out, trying to get to that outside edge and we do. Oh, trying to get into Missouri territory. Still on our feet. Breaking two tackles. And down at the 48 of Missouri. Missouri, misery. Sorry. <laughs> 
Oh man, that was three words that rhymed in a row. And in this one out to Maurice Green to the right. He bounces back out, backwards, and loses two. That was that was an odd carry. Second down and 12. Trying to stay in the pocket. Rolling out slightly. Gonna deliver this one to Parker. Parker down to the 30, down to the 25, still on his feet to the 24. I mean, you're playing against number one Florida, and you're gonna come at us with a weak defense like that? Come on now. You gotta send a little bit of pressure on us, put us under a little bit of stress. And I think we're in the red zone now because of Maurice Green. In the red zone, we're one for one today, scoring a touchdown with our only opportunity. Callahan, though, gets bumped by his own man, still cuts up and finds the first down. Callahan's hungry for that end zone. Time to hand this one off to Green again. He's going to find only three up the left side. After one quarter of play, we lead 14 to nothing. We're knocking on that end zone door right now. Baker's an opportunity here. This play action play usually leaves him open in the corner. There he is. He catches it. 20 to nothing, great catch by Baker. Nine for 12, 121 yards, two touchdowns for us. Really turning things around after that Vanderbilt game. Wow, 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 Missouri ate a ton of time off the clock, literally over half a quarter. And it is 21 to seven, they go down and score. Time for a little read option, give that one to Green. And wow, he finds 12, maybe 13 yards up the middle. First down and 10, another handoff to Green. He's gonna cut up the middle, then cut to the left and find nothing. Six carries, 20 yards for Green today. I mean, not explosive, but still pretty productive. Rolling out, trying to find anything or anybody. Gonna run a man over and we're still on our feet down to the 44. Vanderbilt had a good four or five different possession turnovers on us last week. And I don't think Missouri has any. I don't think we've had to punt the ball yet today. There's Green out of the backfield. He's gonna find the first down and we're into Missouri territory. Looking very calm in the pocket today, just trying to stay confident. And there's Carpenter, or Carter, sorry. I haven't thrown to Carter a lot this year, but that was a massive game. Donnie Carter, a tight end. I don't think we've thrown to him at all, but he was just wide open, couldn't resist. Parker is in motion. We're here in the red zone. Uh-oh, this isn't looking good. Gonna deliver that one to RJ Parker. Wow, he read our eyes. He knew where we wanted him to go and he got there. Looking to make it 28 to seven before the end of the first half. Get the ball back at the 40 yard line. Only have to go 60 yards here. We could potentially score again. I mean, that Vanderbilt game was so close, but this game has just not been anywhere near as close. There's Gordon pulling in a big one, 14 yards. We're in Missouri territory, closing in on 200 yards through the air today, 13 for 16, three touchdowns already. Trying to draw Missouri off sides. Here in the swamp, we are extremely hard to beat. Parker wide open, and another first down. The swamp is rated the toughest place to play college football right now out of all of the stadiums you could play at. So it just goes to show you what our home field advantage is really all about. Uh, I didn't like that. I think we could have got it to somebody, but we're gonna take it inside the red zone ourselves on our feet. Three for three in the red zone today. Three touchdowns out of three attempts. We're going to try some, uh, oh my God, some read option. Didn't really pan out, we found three. And tossing this one out to Green to the right side, bumps into his own man, but he cuts up and finds the end zone. A 14 yard touchdown run, looking to make it 35 to seven. Yep, two possessions, Missouri does nothing, 35 to seven. That Vanderbilt game gave me hope that there was going to be opponents worthy of our time. And I mean, UGA is going to be one, South Carolina, Florida State, obviously if we play Alabama and Ohio State this season, those are gonna be some tough games. But I mean, I like this warm up game against Missouri. Vanderbilt was a bit scary. Rolling out here, looking for McDaniel. Uh, he's out there deep, but I just don't think we're gonna go for him. Oh, we're out of here. See you later. Alligator, gotta go. 71 yard touchdown scramble. We made two men miss and we go all the way for six. This was just beautiful. Outrun one, make him miss. And then make this man miss here and we were just gone. See you later. We were held to pretty much scoreless through the air last game. This has been a totally different vibe. I mean, that Vanderbilt game was such a close game. McDaniel one-handed from behind. Taking the snap here, trying to stay in the pocket. We got a receiver open, gonna get it to Meeks. 
pretty much in the backfield. He works his way for six. Second down and four, giving it to Green up the center. He's going to find the first down. Parker is the man in motion. Let's see what we can do here. Uh-oh, that was dangerous. Green comes down with it and breaks one. Second down and seven, still in the pocket. Gonna roll out, trying to find some space up the middle. To the outside, back to the inside, making men miss all day. Spin cycle, fumble, but down at the one. Wow, talk about forward progress. Ah, they called it out at the six where we pretty much stepped out of bounds. That was a big gain though, did not expect that up the sideline. Baker's wide open. Baker holds on to it. Six yard touchdown reception. This is a highlight reel type of performance. Four touchdowns through the air. I think we have two on the ground today. First down and 10, a little bit of play action. Rolling out to the outside. I mean, we're gonna try to deliver this strike. Almost intercepted. I think a little bit too much pepper behind that one. He drops it. We leave by 42. I'd much rather be on the bench right now than playing in this game. But we're gonna cut up on him. We find a huge hole. And we're out of here. See you later. Alligator, gotta go. My God, an 80 yard touchdown run. And we're celebrating. I mean, you just can't write this stuff up. The longest run in NCAA history. We broke our old record. And I think coach is keeping us out now. I mean, there was no point to keep us in that game. We're still going to win this thing by 52. Such a lopsided affair here. I mean, coming into the swamp is just a different animal. It takes a really special team. We have to face FSU later this year away. <laughs> Oops, sorry. But we have to face South Carolina at home, which is going to be a huge advantage for us. Such a big, big game for us on the ground again. 18 for 22 today, only four incompletions, 81% completion percentage, four touchdowns. We weren't sacked at all, no interceptions. Really turned things around from that Vanderbilt game. Rushing wise, 280 yards, three touchdowns. Oh my God. And receiving, it looks like Parker had five receptions, 91 yards, two touchdowns. And John Baker, our tight end. I'm telling you, he's gonna be something special. I would love to see John Baker in the NFL after his junior year, okay? Two more seasons, going into our third year in the NFL. I would love to see John Baker on our team. But three for 21, two touchdowns. Callahan got involved, he had a touchdown today. Two receptions, 45 yards. UGA hasn't been great this season. They're three and four, but still a good squad on paper. We do have to travel to Georgia to play them. Kirk is siding with us, but I mean, after that Missouri game, I have a lot of confidence. Now they're just as good as Vanderbilt on paper. Haven't been that great this season though with a turnover differential of minus eight. I mean, one of the worst in the nation. We're one of the best, so we should get a lot of turnovers against them. I mean, the biggest thing that we have to fear is their rush offense. It's pretty good. And it looks like their rush defense and pass defense are middle of the road. So, I mean, it could be a close game. It could be one of those nail biters. But right now we are on a hot streak at 8-0. Top 25 still shaping up to be very interesting. 8-0, that's what we are. Alabama's number two at 6-0. Ohio State 6-0 at number three. Florida State, we play them later this year. They're 7-0. And South Carolina's 8-0. We play them later this year as well. So, I mean, these two teams, that these two games right here could very much determine if we're going to be one in the SEC Conference Championship game and two in the national championship. We have to win them both if we want both of those things. So, I mean, it's going to be very interesting. And I mean, that South Carolina game could be a win it or, you know, don't get to compete in it type of situation. So, especially the Florida State game being the last game of the season. So, I mean, it's, it's a really nerve wracking schedule coming up. Heisman watch, we're still number one over that Florida State quarterback, Brad Kenny. I mean, I wonder where we're gonna go in the NFL. Obviously, we're trying to impress that game, that last game of the regular season against Florida State is going to be a very important game for us. Nebraska quarterback, Texas quarterback. We're seeing new quarterbacks here now. One quarterback completely dropped out. But this Nebraska quarterback's an up-and-comer. He is a senior. Then we have another senior quarterback scrambler in Shannon Parker out of Texas. This halfback from Navy, man, he's performing. He's in the Heisman watch. But I mean, this 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 is gonna be a very interesting game. That Florida State game, big rivalry game. And I think we're the top two quarterbacks in the in the NFL draft, you know, coming into the draft this April. So this is gonna be something to really watch that game. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications if you're new. And until next time, peace out.